I'm just blown away. This has been completely transformed. It's beautiful. We're ready for all these people to go home. We'll go swimming in it. Yeah, get out! <laughs> and then we have that wetland filtration system. That's what's giving us that water quality that we all are striving for. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Live in the opposite lifestyle personified. <laughs> Wow, check this out. We are back at John and Jen's place down here in St. Augustine. It's only been a month since we were here completing this pond and it looks phenomenal. They have done an amazing job. They got the entire screen structure going across. We have some aquatic vegetation, but look at the plant material. Look at all the cacti that he's put in. So remember what John's goal with this was, was to recreate kind of a little plunge pool that you would find somewhere in the southwest. And man, this nails it. We got this really cool sedimentary stone that we're working with. We have all the other little details down here. We got some of the deadfall, kind of that arroyo or alluvial fan type of a look where you're gonna have fast moving water kind of blasting through coming out of the hillsides. All those different little details really make all the difference on this project. The water quality looks incredible. Water lilies are starting to pop out a little bit, still very early form. I love this little detail also down here on the bottom. We have that structural wall down there just to give it that little bit of an architectural element and that's also tying in with some of these other walls that we used over here which are going right into the home so all the other stuff that he's done on the outside remember he put in all that metal work over here on the back side to give it that look that they were going for i'm just blown away just a few short weeks you know this has been completely transformed unreal Remember, this was that walkway that we created coming down just to allow easy access. We have this little intake bay over here. This is housing the suction lines for those pumps. We're drawing all the water through our two pumps over on this side, sending the water out and around to the other side. Just love these big rocks, how you can kind of step stone your way across. You could also see the action of all those underwater jets blasting up water from the bottom. We have that big giant log that we placed in over here on the other side. Monster boulders, and then we have that wetland filtration system located all the way at the top. And that's the workhorse for this entire system. That's what's giving us that water quality that we all are striving for.
adding in the stumps really help to sell everything. This gives it that really naturalistic look. There's our clean out over here for our snorkel vault. And then just all those logs. Again, you know I talk about this stuff all the time. Creating different surfaces. Different surfaces are key. So we have all the ox blocks down in the bottom. So remember what we have happening here. We have our piping coming in around the outside perimeter, dropping down underneath. We're distributing water from this far end. It's shooting all the way across into that snorkel vault. We have our centipedes down below, layers of those aqua blocks. We're spreading the water out, allowing that sedimentation process to occur, and the water flows up through all of that river rock. It's basically home to different types of microorganisms which are gonna break down and consume all the different types of organic waste that are coming actually from the aquatic ecosystem. The reason we have waterfalls on the outfall because we're consuming dissolved oxygen during the biological processes. So all of this stuff, all of these little things are consuming energy. They're consuming oxygen. It's an aerobic environment. That's gonna to help to reoxygenate the water. The water then is gonna fall down inside of the pond. It's gonna continue its way through the entire cycle, going back over here to the intake bay, and then it gets returned all the way to the top. Now we do have two pumps on this system. One of the pumps is operating just this main waterfall. That's kind of that party pump type of a look. So that's just creating the drama that we're looking for. The other pump runs 24 hours a day. That's this one. That's the one that's coming to the wetland. He does not need to run them all the time. That's totally up to him. We do obviously have them on right now for us, and that's because I wanted to see this thing full bore. Some of these big boulders, I see more over here. Those will continue to take root into that sandstone. So that's mimicking their natural environment. That's what I love about this stuff. All these little micro habitats and little areas that we could really kind of fine tune. We have the different areas for the aquatic vegetation. We also have areas for terrestrial vegetation. We also have home for different types of microorganisms. The wood surface is going to grow an epilithic type of an organism. So that's going to be the type that's found on a plant material. Epilithic means it's found on stone. So that's why we want to have as many different surfaces as possible. We have the river rock down here on the bottom, which is more granitic. Then we have sandstone, we have logs, we have woods, we have aquatic vegetation. So we're only looking at a very small percentage of that plant that's above the actual filter bed. The rest of that plant actually is growing down through the gravel bed. It's sending those roots deep down into that substrate to draw up more and more nutrients. But that root zone is, is highly important because you're gonna have different types of things that are found in and around that root zone and are found anywhere else in this entire ecosystem. Man, I am just loving this. So we also have Ken and Kate. We got John over here. Everybody's out checking this out. We were over at the St. Augustine Alligator Farm, and now we had to come over here because I just love, love, love checking out features after they've established themselves. This one's only been in for a short amount of time. Give this another year, two years, it's gonna completely transform. And what I love about a recreational style pond is they get better and better with time. Absolutely, my favorite time to enjoy a water feature is at night. The lights come out, creates a whole new level 
of enjoyment. And so many people work during the day, they get set up. There's no better place. You'll spend hours and hours on end just kicking back by the water feature. But look at this. Are you kidding me? Live in the aquascape lifestyle personified. 